I'm here with my friend today, and it's the month of what? May. May. It's the month of May. And May is a very special month. You know why May is a very special month? Because it is William Syndrome Awareness Month. Okay, have you ever heard of William Syndrome? Mm, no. No? You've never heard of it? Okay. All right, would you like to learn more about it? Yeah. All right, me too. Okay, you might not have heard of William Syndrome, but if you met somebody with this, how would you treat them? Like they're respected. Like they're respected? Just like you would treat anybody else, right? Have you ever heard of William Syndrome? No. No, but if you did meet somebody with William Syndrome, how would you treat them? I'm very tired. Very... They might be hard time. They might have a hard time, right? Mm -hmm. So you would treat them very kind. And so say if like they don't go outside, like if they don't have no friends, you mm -hmm. try to play with them and be their friend. Dude, we didn't even rehearse this. This kid has some of the best character I've ever seen. So anybody you meet, right? Yeah. If they have something that you might not have heard about or they might be struggling with something, you're going to treat with kindness, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Love it, man. That's a great answer. And we did not rehearse that. All right, girls. Have you ever heard of William syndrome? No. If you yeah. met some... You have? Yeah. Well, you don't know what it means. Okay. If you met somebody with Williams Syndrome, how would you treat them? Nicely. Nicely? Okay. So really, it doesn't matter who you meet, and with whatever they might have, you're going to treat them with respect, respect kindness. kindness. I think maybe you'd even go up to them and smile, try to talk to them, have a conversation. This is Fox Kids right here, the nicest there are around. And today... We're gonna learn a little bit more about Williams Syndrome when my friend here shares a story. Life with Williams Syndrome. Olivia is my name, Williams Syndrome is my game. What's Williams Syndrome you say? Stick with me and I'll explain away. A genetic condition that's pretty rare. Only one in 10,000 births per year, I swear. I'm missing, I'm missing some genes on my seventh cr chromosome. Doctors found out when they sequenced my genome. There will be challenges I may face, but there are gifts too that I will embrace. We might be a little behind in learning some stuff and require a bit of extra help because math can be tough. Listening to music and playing instruments are something we love. Sharp, loud, sharp noises are things we should, we would like to hear less of. It's pretty cool that my friends with Williams Syndrome look like me. We have huge smiles, cutie noses, and starry eyes. Just look and see. We may be smaller than some of our friends, but, com but our communication skills are great, making us fun to hang out on the weekends. Some of us may need surgery to repair our hearts. Doctors will look Doctors and specialists will look after our charts. My parents and teachers take care of me too. I hope you'll have my back and be part of my crew. We love to sing, laugh, and play. If you smile and say hi, it'll make my day. We're super lovey-dovey, as you can see. Thanks for reading my story to understand me. The end. Well, that was great to learn a little bit more about Williams Syndrome because I know that some of you guys at home or in class might not know much about it, and I learned a lot. But tell us, do you know anybody with Williams Syndrome? Yes. Who? My sister. Really? Tell us about her. Well, she loves music. Um, she can be very loud sometimes. <laughs> She's funny? Yep, very funny. Very funny. Okay. Just like the book, says, 
good communication skills, right? Mm -hmm. She's very playful. Okay. What else do you love about your sister? Um, she's always like there for people. Like if someone's sad, she'll ask them what's wrong. Awesome. And so stuff she, like that. So she's definitely a caring person. Like, yeah. She's got great character, eh? Yeah, she's really nice. Awesome. So if somebody meets somebody else with Williams syndrome, what can they do that would be helpful? Treat them like anybody else. Okay, so just like anybody else would want to be treated, you treat them. Yeah, exactly. All right. Don't think of them as different. Think of them as they have something unique about them. <laughs> That's great advice. If you see my sister, smile because I'm sure she'll smile back. Are you, are you staring at that bowl of candy? Yeah. Why? Because I like it. You like the candy? Yeah. Do you want that candy? Yes. What, you're going to eat all of that candy? Yes. Okay, listen, we might be able to get one piece of candy, like one package each. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. What is your favorite class at school? Music? Do you like to play music? Yes. You do? Yes. What's your favorite song? Um, my favorite song is springtime. Springtime? Yes. All right. That's a good time, too. Yes. It is. Okay, I got a question for you. Are you ready? Yes. If you could play any instrument in a rock band, what would you play? I'll play, um... In three, two, one. Guitar. Guitar? How would you play the guitar? Show me. Air guitar. What is your favorite song to sing? Thriller. Thriller? Yeah. Who's that by? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Okay, let's say you're done with all your homework, okay? okay? And you did all of your chores at home. What's your favorite game to play? Um, my favorite, the granny game. The granny game? Yeah. I thought you said you liked hide and seek. Yeah. Uh, both? I like, yeah. Okay. Okay. What game do you love to play? Hide and go seek. Hide and go seek? Yeah. It's a fun game. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go hide. See ya. See you later, Gator.